We're here with Carlos Coriama, a senior analyst for the Policy Support Unit and a former trade negotiator. He recently authored a policy brief on promoting medical goods during the COVID-19 crisis. Carlos, can you tell us why we're looking at medical goods now? Thanks for your question. Well, this COVID-19 pandemic is creating unprecedented challenges around the world. It's testing health systems everywhere, including the capacity of governments to respond to this challenge. Currently, we are finding that hospitals, medical centers are struggling to have access to medical supplies, to equipment, and to protective personal products. In this context, uh, trade could facilitate things by providing access to these medical goods. However, some governments have taken protective measures to fight COVID-19 that might inadvertently be affecting trade. Tell us about the barriers or trade restrictive measures to medical goods in the APEC region. Yes, Michael, we are finding out import tariffs and export restrictions affecting trade in medical goods. About tariffs, uh, some governments have implemented waivers on import tariffs, but they are mostly on a temporary basis. The tariff cut should be permanent, and why permanent? To facilitate access to medical goods and to assist governments to prepare and stand ready to react quickly in the event of any public health emergency beyond COVID-19. In terms of export restrictions, we have found so that some governments are implementing these measures against face masks and other personal protective products. Also, export restrictions on disinfectants and some medical supplies and equipment. What's the reason behind the recent uptick in protective measures? Well, Michael, certainly this pandemic has been evolving very fast and many governments are overwhelmed. In many cases, the initial reaction has been to secure the provision of certain goods, and that's why many export restrictions and bans to medical goods and food have been implemented. Is it wrong for an economy to ensure it has enough inventory of goods to protect its citizens and healthcare systems? Thank you for your question, Michael. The World Trade Organization allows its members to implement export restrictions to prevent any critical shortages of essential products, and also allows export restrictions in cases necessary to protect human life and health. However, these measures could have a detrimental effect, in particular, if the provision of goods for domestic consumption has been secured. The cost of these measures could be higher than the benefit. Three reasons. Number one, it reduces access to medical goods for economies that don't produce any of these goods or don't produce them in enough quantities. Number two, it affects the value chain to produce medical goods. For example, to obtain alcohol to make hand sanitizer. Number three, it could increase prices affecting consumers and firms. What needs to be done to ensure that economies have a sustainable trade policy going forward? Well, Michael, I think uh, we could do three things. Number one, APEC economies could aim to develop a collective initiative to reduce or eliminate tariffs on medical goods on a permanent basis. Number two, APEC economies could consider an initiative to refrain from implementing unnecessary trade restrictive measures, in particular export bans and export restrictions. And number three, we are all aware that COVID-19 has disrupted the economy by affecting production lines and supply chain. Freight costs are higher because in part the number of air sea cargo frequencies has fallen. It's then imperative for APEC economies to commit to keep supply lines open in particular for the provision of essential goods, such as medical goods and food. Thank you, Carlos, for your insight into the policy brief on promoting medical goods during the COVID-19 crisis. Really appreciate your work and look forward to hearing more.